Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is Selectors Hub? Let me answer. Selectors Hub is a browser add-on, okay? It comes in the form of, it's not a tool, okay? It comes in the form of a browser add-on. You have to install this in the browser as an add-on, add -on, okay? Or an extension, you can say. It is supported by all the popular browsers that are there in the market. You can install selectors of in Chrome browser, Firefox browser, Edge browser, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, browsers. Okay. And the main purpose of using this selectors of browser add-on is to auto-generate the XPath expressions and CS selectors. For auto-generating means it will uh, if you if you want an XPath expression locator or CS selector locator, which is required for Selenium automation, okay, then simply by you know, uh, right clicking on that particular element and inspecting that, you'll be able to auto generate with the help of this tool. Okay. You will be able to auto generate the XPath expressions and CS selectors, and you don't have to write these locators by yourselves. Okay. Though it is recommended to write our own XPath expressions and CS selectors, but by having this selectors hub browser add on for auto generating the XPath expressions and CS selectors, it will save a lot of time for us. That's how the selectors hub add-on plays a key role. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. So for that, I'll open the browser in any browser you open. I'll open the Chrome browser. In the Chrome browser, to install the selectors hub, I'll just simply say selectors hub.com. Okay, this is the official website of selectors hub. And once you go there, you see there are a lot of products from the selectors hub nowadays. And uh, you just go with the first product, selectors hub, click on that. And uh, here, once you go, uh, go to this uh, page, you will see some browsers, okay? In different in these browsers, the selectors of add-on is supported. Since I am using Chrome browser now, I would like to install uh, this uh, selectors of add-on in Chrome browser. So I'll simply select install. It will take you to the Google Chrome store of this uh, selectors of add-on page. You see, click on add to Chrome and say add extension. In a while, the selectors of add-on will get installed. You see, it is downloading. In a while, it will get Add it to over. You see, it's done. Okay. Simply uh, click on this manage extensions. Click, simply click on this manage extensions and click on this pin. That's it. Once you pin it, you will find it here. Okay. Now you have the selectors of add on installed. It's better that you restart your browser once installed. You restart your browser so that uh, selectors of will work properly. And go to any application where you have. Uh, where you have to create XPath expressions or CS selector locators for different UI elements. For example, I would like to uh, create a XPath expression for this login button. So right click, since you already have installed selectors up, in the right click option, you got selectors up and you can simply say copy relative XPath. You see, it is auto-generating. Paste it here. You see, it, uh, selectors up as auto-generated this absolute, uh, I mean, relative XPath expression. Similarly, you right click on the same button and select a selector sub and say, Copy relative CS selector. Okay. We generally use uh, relative XPath and relative CS selectors as locator in real time. So it, you see, you are able to generate in within seconds, right? So you don't have to even uh, type and write. Okay. So, and also, if a particular element, uh, it's not only auto generated XPath expressions and CS selectors, but also it will give a list of locators that you can use in your Selenium automation. For example, this drop down field has different type of locators we can use. So simply right click on this uh, drop down field and select inspect option instead of right click go with inspect option. Since you already have installed selectors of under the elements, we have sub tabs like styles, computer layout, layout, uh, event listeners. And last one is like selectors of click on that. If this uh, Google Chrome dev tools is on the right side, just click on this and dock it to the down. If it is on the right side, it will be like this dock to the down so that you can uh, find this Google Chrome dev tools like this. Okay. So if I say it will be like this, okay? So I don't want like this. I want to talk to the down. So, and uh, you can see the selectors up here. Just expand this and just uh, make it big. You see all the possible locators for this drop down button are listed down here, okay? Just uh, make it a uh, full screen and uh, just see here, just expand this here. You can get all the locators, guys, okay? You see all the possible locators like ID, name, class name, okay? Relative CS selector, relative XPath, everything is available here. You just copy from here. Just copy this option from here and you can use it here. Okay. In your Selenium automation, you can use this uh, relative XPath or CS selector. Okay. Like that. So, hope guys, you got an idea what exactly is Selectors Hub. Selectors Hub is a browser add on for 
auto generating the xpath expressions and cs selectors and even more than that it also will list you the uh, mainly for auto generating xpath expressions and cs selectors but uh, more than that it is also useful for listing down all the possible type of locators that you can use for locating the elements on the web pages okay and these locators you can pass to the selenium so that selenium can locate the elements using these locators okay so it is going to save your time like anything guys okay selector sub tool will save your time like anything so even though you have the knowledge of creating xpath expressions and cs selectors on your own but if you use selector sub okay it will help you in saving the time still okay so with practical demonstration i have explained what exactly is selector sub in this session so that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.